So if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how you can connect a PS5 controller just like this one up to Forza Motorsports. So this is the new Forza, Forza 8 that released in 2023. But that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you with this guide. Let's get right into it. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do step by step and also how you can perfectly adjust your controller settings so it plays exactly the way you want to. So we're starting out in the boot menu of Forza Motorsports 2023. That's exactly where I would go. So as you're seeing here, here's the splash screen. On the bottom right of your screen, you can see that we're currently using the mouse and keyboard. That input will change as we connect our PS5 controller. So I have my PS5 controller here. You do need to have a Bluetooth compatible motherboard or a Bluetooth compatible PC. If you do not, you need to buy a dongle for that. That allows you to actually connect your controller to the PC, or you're gonna to have to use the wired input method. But let's go into what's actually going on here. So we're gonna switch over, and this is gonna be your Xbox app. Now, if you're using this on Steam, you can use this method, but you won't have to because Steam has direct input, so it actually can directly connect your controller. However, the app I'm gonna be showing you is free, and it's also better than what Steam does. Uh, it has a lot more settings and features. So if you're gonna see right here, you can see no controller is connected, even though I have my Bluetooth controller here. Now I'm going to be jumping over into the app we're actually going to be using to connect to the PC. So here we are. It's DualSense X. This is a really cool app. This is a lot better than what you're going to see a lot of people recommend, which is DS4. I use DS4. I think DS4 is buggy. This gives you a lot of customization options. I'm going to be leaving a link. There is a Steam paid version, but I'm using the free version that's easy to find online. Like I said, look in the description. You'll have the link for this. So you download this program. You install this program. Like I said, it's free. doesn't cost you a cent. So now I have my PS5 controller, and I'm hitting the little PS button right here. So I'm clicking on the PS button. So you see the controller turns on. It still says, hey, I'm searching for you. And there you go. And you can see now that it says it's controller emulating an Xbox 360 controller. So you can also emulate a DualShock 4. I personally prefer to just emulate a 360 controller. This is also a really cool app. You can go and you can change even like your LED lights. Like I had it on Dark Goldenrod. You can change it to Clemson or anything. And as you see, it updates and the controller changes to Clemson. It also can change your controller modes. It can change what your triggers do. It can apply motors to trigger, vibrations. Fantastic app. Whoever made this app should be very, very proud. Incredibly good app. I'm in no way affiliated. I don't I don't even know who makes this, but it's really good. You also can see that there is a Bluetooth connected up in the top left. If you were using the input of an actual wired controller, it would be wired instead of the Bluetooth. And you see how much your battery is. So my battery is currently at 100% because I just charged this. So now let's go back into Forza Motorsports here. So now we are back in Forza, guys. As you can see, for now, nothing's changed. We still have F to view car and then enter to select. But if I take my PS5 controller, hit any button. So let's say I hit the X button. Bam, immediately. Now you get all of the controller inputs. So it's that easy to connect your PS5 controller. But wait, I'm also going to be showing you how to dial this in and get the absolute best controller experience that you can. So for that, you're going to want to go into settings. Now, there's a lot of things you can tweak here with driving assist accessibility that will also help your gameplay, but that's outside of the realm of this video. But right now, I'm just going to be teaching you how to actually customize the controller. And so the first thing I want to talk about is if you want to remap any of the buttons. So Forza Motorsports 2023 is really good in this regard. Every single button on this controller is remappable and rebindable. So I use the default layout, but there's 17 different layouts. And if you just want to have a complete custom built controller layout, it allows you to do that too. That's right here on the controller tab. Would highly recommend you figure out exactly what you want to do. Maybe go into some free play, get the controller inputs to be exactly the way you want. Now let's move on to what I think is the most important thing, which is the advanced controller settings. Now, I'm going to reset this to default because I have mine on kind of a customized layout. What you have to understand here is the dead zones that are set in Forza are quite high, and this will actually interfere with you being able to control your car. So there's a few settings you want to tweak here. On steering access dead zone inside, you want to remove that down to a minimum of five. 
but I would say anywhere from zero to five is actually ideal. Personally, I like playing on three. If you have a new controller that has zero percent stick drift, you can probably get by with either zero or one. But for anybody that's had the controller more than a month or two, I would recommend two to three. It's really, really nice. The highest level you should be going here is five. Now, what this actually does is it controls how much you have to push the stick in order to actually get movement. So the lower you set this, the more sensitive your sticks are going to be. The lo lower the latency is going to be between when you move and when the car moves on screen. So it's going to make it more responsive. Now, the dead zone on the outside, I would be more careful here because what that's going to do is actually it's going to inhibit the range of your joystick. So I would keep that to 95. I think that's a really good setting for acceleration dead zone. So this actually controls your triggers. Now for the trigger, I would set it to five. I think that's really, really good. Again, that's just going to make it more responsive. Anywhere between three and five here, I think is really good. And that's going to make your triggers a lot more responsive. So that's really good. The acceleration uh, access dead zone inside, same thing. I would pull that down to five. That's going to make your brake more responsive. That's going to make your acceleration, your throttle more responsive. Really, really good. If you do play with clutch, you can mess with this. I personally do not recommend playing with clutch because clutch is broken right now in Forza Motorsports and it will not give you an advantage. You will actually be at a disadvantage if you use the clutch. So would not recommend that. Handbrake you can mess with. Very rarely are you going to be using the handbrake. And when you do, you're just going to be tapping it for a quick second. So you could probably move this dead zone down a little bit, but I don't feel this is super important. Vibration is up to your preference when you actually hit the outside curb. Vibration helps me a little bit, but I can definitely see how some people would not like it. If you do not like it, just take the vibration scale and just pull it all the way down. Or you can modify this in the app like I was showing you earlier. But one of the most important settings you need to change is the steering self alignment. So the steering self alignment is stupid because what that does is it basically auto drives your car and it doesn't do a good job. So you want to take that and you want to put that a minimum of 10 at I would never go above 10 in any situation. I personally like playing on zero. I think it makes the car a lot more responsive. You have more control, which is ultimately what you want is to give your controller the most control over the car. So I would just set this at zero or a maximum of 10 and that's it. You just hit close now and you hit save your changes. So now guys, I hope this helped you hit that like, hit that subscribe and click that notification bell. It would really help me out. You'd be my hero today. Really hope this guide helped you, and I will see you in the next Forza video.